All right, this is my final video in my series of videos entitled A Guide to Switching to Linux, Linux Mint Edition. And in this video, I'm going over removing windows from a dual boot with Linux Mint. Let's say that either one, all your applications can run on Linux, two, you found alternatives for your Windows applications that you cannot run on Linux, or three, you have a way to run these Windows applications without dual booting, for example, running a virtual machine. So if that's the case, you came to the right place. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so now first of all, you're gonna wanna get your Linux Mint install media plugged in, and then you're gonna wanna power on your system. Now I'm doing this in a virtual machine, but this would be the equivalent of turning on your computer. Then you're gonna wanna get into your boot menu, and then you're gonna boot from your Linux Mint install media, then start Linux Mint. All right, so now before you continue with this process, you're gonna wanna go into your file manager, then go to your Windows partition, and then quickly check your user folder by going to users, your username, to make sure that there's nothing on this Windows partition that you need because it will be deleted as part of this process. But anyway, once you made sure that there's nothing on it that you need, first of all, we need to unmount it, otherwise it won't delete. Then you're gonna wanna go into Gparted, and then you're gonna wanna delete the Microsoft Reserve partition and the Basic Data partition or your NTFS partition. And if you have an extra NTFS partition, it's safe to delete that as well. Now, if you have a UEFI BIOS, you have what's called an EFI system partition. Do not delete this partition. If you do, your computer will refuse to boot because in the world of UEFI BIOSes, that's what stores the code that tells your computer how to boot your operating system. But anyway, you're gonna go to your Linux Mint partition, which is labeled ext4, then click resize slash move or that arrow, then drag it to fill up the space completely. Both free space proceeding and free space following should be zero. And then you're gonna click resize slash move, and then it'll give you this message saying that moving a partition might cause your operating system to fail to boot. We can click OK. Now, it is a good idea to have a backup of your data just in case anything goes awry with this. I've actually personally never experienced any problems with this before. Now, if you have this weird configuration where you have a partition within a partition, just expand your root Linux Mint partition to fill up the unallocated drive space, and then expand your sub Linux Mint partition, you know, that actually stores your Linux Mint to fill up the unallocated space within your Linux Mint root partition, if you know what I mean. And if there's another partition in the way of your Linux Mint partition, then you're gonna wanna move that out of the way by getting all your data off of it that you need, then expanding your Linux Mint partition. Then you can remake that partition after. But anyway, once your partitioning table looks like this, you can go hit this little checkbox, or rather check mark, then click apply, and then it'll go delete your Windows partition and expand your Linux Mint partition to fill up the drive space that was previously taken up by Windows. So now this is take a while, so I'll speed this up. All right, so now once it says that all operations successfully completed, we can click close, then reboot our system. All right, now your grub menu will still show the Windows Boot Manager option. Now, don't worry, we can remove that. However, the steps in order to do so will differ depending on whether you have a UEFI BIOS or a legacy BIOS. Now, if you have a legacy BIOS, all you have to do is just open up terminal, then type sudo update-grub and enter, punch in your password, and then it'll go regenerate your grub boot menu. And if you have a legacy BIOS and you've removed Windows, that'll go remove the Windows entry from the grub menu. Now, if you have a UEFI BIOS, it'll say it's found Windows Boot Manager in your EFI slash Microsoft folder. Now, if that's the case, it's a little bit more complicated, but not too much so. So what you're gonna do is open up files, then go to file system, then go to boot, EFI, then punch in your password, punch in your password again, then you're gonna go to the EFI folder here, and then just delete the Microsoft folder. Don't delete anything else here, otherwise your system will fail to boot, and it's gonna complain that the file Microsoft cannot be moved to the trash. We can just permanently delete this, since its name makes it pretty obvious that we no longer need this. But anyway, now we can just close out here, then you just need to do sudo update-grub, and then that'll go remove the Windows entry from your grub boot menu. Now, if you have a legacy BIOS, you will not have a boot slash EFI folder. But anyway, we are done. And that's how to remove Windows from a dual boot with Linux Mint. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.